Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your th second and final video blog of the night for Saturday, May 7th, 2016, around 7.15 in the evening, Dorica, Massachusetts. Still damp. Tomorrow's weather for Mother's Day could be very amounts of sunshine, but a midday rain shower. Monday is supposed to be starting of the nice and warm weather. Wait and see about that. Some news to report in the Kentucky Derby on NBC. Nyquist has won the Kentucky Derby, so he's one third of the way there for the Triple Crown. And also, the Memphis Grizzlies fired the head coach, Dave, Dave Jogler. After three seasons, the Grizzlies are heading downhill, so, he, so they had to fire him. And the Angels have never, ever considered the thought of trading outfielder Mike Trout away. Mike Trout is one of baseball's best players and it would have been a sh it would be stupid for the angels to consider him trading him because he's just a a like cornerstone player he's a franchise and that's about it on news my second and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile tonight's personality profile is about former NFL quarterback Tony Eason. Tony played in the NFL in the 80s and early 90s. He was famous for being on the New England Patriots as the number one quarterback for a couple of years. Tony was born in Blighted, California, and he grew up in Walnut Grove, California. He played quarterback in high school. His high school only had 250 students and he was such a great um, football player, great um, quarterback, but his school being so, so tiny, he did not get any offers for a Division I football program. So he had to play um, college um, football at a junior college called America River Junior College outside of Sacramento, California for two years. And he was a great player there. And then he got transferred to a partial scholarship for Illinois, the Fighting Illinois. He played three years for Illinois. And he holds a lot of um, the Fighting Illinois. Online eyes passing records, and he made a couple of like bowl games during his career there. And he was a decent quarterback. And the New England Patriots drafted Tony in the first round, 15th overall in 1983. That was the great year of quarterbacks that came out like John Elway, Dan Marino, Todd Blackridge, Kenny. O'Brien and Jim Kelly were drafted during that year. And Tony um, played eight seasons in the NFL with the New England Patriots and New York Jets. Um, he was drafted because um, the Patriots says he would be the franchise quarterback because Steve Grogan was, you know, constantly hurt and they wanted to try to replace him. And Tony was the starting quarterback for the Patriots for a couple of years, from 1984 through 1986. And his stats were th three years of 200, 2,000 or more um, passing yards. One time he threw 20 t touchdown passes in a season. Two times he had 200 completions in a season. Two times 400 pass attempts. He made one Super Bowl appearance which 1986, but he was so bad in it that he had to be replaced by Steve Grogan, T 
Tony made no all pro teams or no, he did not play in the pro ball. He eventually got frequent injured during his um, time with the New England Patriots towards the latter half. And he was replaced by Doug Flutie and he just sat on the bench. Eventually, he got traded to the New York Jets and he was like injured f when he was playing the, with the Jets as well. He ended his career in 1990. He was a kind of a disappointment to many people because a lot of people were pegging Tony to be like the, the, the franchise quarterback for the New England Patriots to lead them to the Super Bowl, but he flopped big time. He wore number 11. The next Patriots player to wear number 11 was um, Drew Bretzel. And here's his career stats. Uh, he had 911 completions for 1,564 yards. I mean, attempts. A 58 two-point pass completion, 61 touchdowns and 51 interceptions, 11,142 um yards passed. He had a quarterback rating of 79.7. After his playing days were over, Tony kind of disappeared. You didn't hear too much about him. For many years afterwards, he was a co he coached basketball at a high school in Sacramento. And that's the last of that would you heard of him. And that's about it on him. And that's about it on the video blocks. Tomorrow, two more video blocks because it's, it's a special holiday, day, Mother's Day. First video blog will be about the top 100 greatest professional wrestlers of all time from number um, 40 through number 31. The second and final video blog will be about um, New England Patriots head coach Bill Belichick. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Rose Blood of WCCO rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hatso, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swensey's rocks. Julie Gower of, of Fox 25 in Boston's the best. And in the words of Dr. Thomas Shockey, this action will not be tolerated. BMHS. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.